Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to make a career. So the first thing we are going to do is to peel our beans. As you can see in the video, I'm already peeling my beans and here is it after peeling it. You can see. So I transfer the peeled um, beans inside the bowl so that I can take it to where where to grind it because I am using a commercial grinding machine to grind it. So I don't like using blender. I don't know why. As people use blender to blend this, but I don't like using blender. I don't normally like the taste when I use blender. So the next thing is to add our pepper, onion, and the crayfish fish. So here I got it. And I have my pepper and the onion. I have it washed separately, so I'm putting it now, that's what I'm putting, the pepper and the onion. Then, I'm not going to put the crayfish now, the reason being that I have the powdered one. So, look at it now, I am turning it and I'm going to add my crayfish, that's my crayfish, I'm adding my crayfish, that's how to do it. So, when you are done with that, you are going to turn it for a while. So make sure you incorporate her into it so that your color will be fluffy. It is very important to turn it like like this, like turn it like this so that your color will be fluffy at the end of the day. Then after I put my spring onion, I don't know if I'm the only one that likes seeing spring onion inside my acar. Then I put on my stove. Make sure that the heat from the stove is not too much so that you'll be able to regulate the hotness of the oil while frying so that your color will not get burns and after i portion the butter one after the look at it i'm portioning it you have to portion it this way and make sure that as you are doing it you leave space you need space it's need space so that when you are turning it it will not stick together that is how to do it you don't you don't you don't occupy the space you need to leave space so that your akara we have space to fry that is it so look at it now so after that you are going to separate it like using so people use stick but i am using fork to separate it so you are going to separate it and make sure that it does not stick look at it now that's what i'm doing i'm trying to separate it so that it doesn't stick look at it now so that's how to do it after you allow it to fry a bit when it has fried then you will turn it it is very important that's how to do it so i now when it has fried i turn it that's what i'm doing i turn it that way look at it now be careful when you are turning it so that it doesn't scatter that's it you have to turn it this way and make sure that you turn everything so that your akara will fry well, that you will not eat an uh, undone akara. That's how to do it. Look at it. Now, that's what I'm doing. Turning it, turn it, turn it. Finish. There you go. Then you will see when it has done, it will change color from this color to to another color. Look at it. Now, that's still change from the initial color to this color look at it now look how beautiful it is oh my god you can pair this with anything of your choice it could be curry it could be pap it could be bread it could be anything of your choice i don't know but it goes well with whatever you take with it thank you for watching my video please if you have not subscribed please do subscribe like comment and share thank you god bless you